how to find product opportunity by looking at the top 10 search results. And now why is this important and how can it make you money? Well, this is another great way to make money by finding product ideas with this exact same technique. The previous strategy I gave you is just kind of like looking at the top products overall, what's going on in the search results of a page. But what I like doing is looking at some specific characteristics in the top 10 results. So how do you do this? I'm going to go ahead and show you. So the first thing you want to do is log into Helium 10, make sure you're in black box, and then you're going to click on the keywords tab. Okay, so this is where we're going to use this strategy. So in this keywords strategy, I'm going to go a minimum search volume of about 3000 and I'll do maximum 8000 again. I'm going to do a price of between $20 and $40. Now you can play around with these filters as much as you want, like the search volume and the price. That's totally fine. I'm going to leave the review count and review rating blank. And then I'm going to go over to word count and I'm going to put a minimum of two. Again, I want to have those kind of longer tail keywords. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose some categories. So I'm going to go over to handmade, health, uh, home and kitchen, kitchen and dining, office products, patio and lawn. I'll go with that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go in to this section here. Now, this is the competitor revenue and competitor review section. This is more of advanced filters here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose more than 5,000. So I'm going to say, I want to say a minimum of five competitors in the top 10 listings have more than $5,000 in revenue. That's what that means. Um, and then the next thing is reviews. So I want to see at least a minimum of, let's say six competitors, or even you can do five, whatever you want to do that have in the top 10 search results, less than 150 reviews. So um, let's say that again. So the competitive revenue, you want to have at least five in the top 10 results that have more than 5,000 in revenue, and then at least five that have less than 150 reviews. So let's go ahead and zoom out and see what we get in the results. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. We've got outdoor chair cushions, set of two, travel pillow and blanket set. That might be an interesting one. A book box. All right, let's look at what a book box is. So it's an actual box that looks like a book. So very interesting. And something cool about this one is there's a lot of different designs here. So you could really, you know, make yours stand out if you found a better design. That's an interesting one. We've got outdoor ghost decorations because Halloween's coming up. Sauna accessories. That might be an interesting one to look at. So let's look at sauna accessories. All right, we've got these kind of like aromatherapy things. So there could be some interesting product ideas here and there. Snow globe, tumbler, a boho bath mat. So the, lots of really interesting product ideas in here. Cauldron diffuser, I think thinking that's for Halloween. <laughs> um, so a rolling hamper, a lot of different great, great ideas in here. So again, this is another amazing way to find some great product ideas with these keywords that start trending so that you can kind of get in early or you can maybe find some really good keywords where you can differentiate. So check out this in black box keywords and try this strategy and let us know what you think. <laughs>